Hi, welcome to another video tutorial. I'm going to show you how to control XFX scenes from a MIDI track in Ableton Live. I'm going to open a brand new live set and configure some of the preferences. Preferences window, MIDI sync tab. Uh, one of the MIDI port options is XFX2 on the output set section, uh, providing it's connected through USB, of course. And under the track heading, this switch here needs to be on. Okay, I'm going to create a MIDI track and call it Scenes. All right, before we go any further on this Scenes track here, we've just created on the MIDI 2 option down here. I'm going to set that to AxeFX 2. That way, any information we produce on this track with a MIDI clip will be sent to the XFX. I'm going to hit tab and go to the arrangement view and I'm going to want to create a MIDI clip, a bar's worth. And I'm going to double click on this clip and open it up and look at the envelope switch box here. Click the envelope switch, opens up this box and there's a drop down list here which they call the Clip Envelope Control Chooser. And this we need to choose a controller number of 34, which is the AxeFX's default controller number for scenes. All right, well, we've got that far. I'm just going to set this, uh, I'm going to duplicate this track a few times to give us four of them. So why not we just give one each a different color as well. Okay, I'm going to rename each one. SC1. That will give us a scene one. Uh, rename this one to SC5. SC7. And SC3. Okay, so as you probably guessed, each clip will trigger a different scene along the playlist, uh, along the arrangement here. Uh, now, if we open up scene one clip, uh, on the envelope here, down the bottom, we need to raise this envelope to a level. Uh, for scene one, it needs to be kept on zero. As you can see, uh, the top left where my mouse is waving around here, um, a number appears as you adjust the envelope. And for scene one, you need to set the value to zero. There's an offset involved, as you will see. On scene 5 clip, uh, we're going to set that envelope to 4. On scene 7, we're going to set the envelope to 6. And on scene 3 clip, we're going to set the envelope to 2. OK, let's play and see what happens. Well, I'm just going to pull the tempo down to give us a chance to see what's going on. As you can see, the scene is changing in accordance with the clips. Now if you want to create another track and call it presets, then you can configure the, the track to send preset information uh, separate to the scene information. Uh, there's a video detailing this on my channel, so check that out. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more video tutorials.